Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, the doll that we are going to make today, I want to make her ready for a very 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 long time. More than a year ago I've made Daenerys Targaryen doll here on my channel and this has become one of my most popular dolls and one of my most popular videos. And I honestly kind of can relate because I also love this doll very much. So, since then I really want to make an Arya Stark doll as well, because honestly speaking, in the beginning of the show, yes, Daenerys Targaryen was my favorite. But in the end of the show, I feel like Arya Stark has become the only not failed character in the whole story, really. Because what happened to the rest of the characters, I will not even mention, because, you know, spoilers. But really, Arya, this, is, this was the only character who had really good moments in the last season of the show and who had really amazing final of this storyline and it really feels like this character even deserves some sort of a spin-off because I would personally love to know what happened to Arya after she left where she left, let's call it like this. So I think today it's finally the day to start making an Arya Stark doll and you know I have an absolutely ideal doll for it. This is such a skipper doll, this is Barbie's younger sibling and I think that this doll is absolutely ideal to make an Arya Stark out of it because first of all she has this teenage body type, she's smaller, she's skinnier, she's more like subtle also, this doll has a completely bendable body, at least her legs, her knees and her elbows are bendable and you know this sort of an articulation is quite an important if we're going to make a young warrior, young fighter girl and also take a look at her face, I think she already looks kind of like Arya Stark but anyway, I'm going to work on her face a little bit and I think she's going to look like Arya even more in the end of this transformation. I hope so, at least. So, let's start working, let's unbox this doll, let's undress her, like always, you know, cut her hair off, remove her outfit, all this jazz, because we have quite a lot of work today. My mom is going to help me to make an outfit, because it's quite a big and a complicated one, and I'm going to make all the rest, you know, the armor, the shoes, all this stuff. So, I'm going to start working and you, like always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course hit the bell button to get notified when my new videos come out normally every week Friday, but sometimes I have to skip a Friday if I'm working on a bigger project. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course hit the like button to support my art here on YouTube and I'm going to start working. I could in theory keep the original hair, but this purple accent it ruins it all. My mini Arya just cannot have purple hair. And even if I dye it brown, it will not look the same anyway. So I'm going to cut her hair and then I'll give her new one in the right color without purple accents. Then I warm her head up to make the rubber soft to be able to disconnect the head from the body. And then I take my tweezers and I remove the rest of the short hair from the inside of the head. I 
think I will remove her original makeup later, after I finish rooting her hair, because I anyway always clean doll faces with acetone after this long hours of rerouting, to remove all the grease and dust and fingerprints that are left on her face after all this long hours of touching and squeezing her face. So I thought, why should I use acetone twice? We can do everything in one step in the end. And right now we can start rerouting her hair. And I'm going to give her this dark brown saran hair. It's a very natural dark hair color. It will look good on Aria, I think. So I can take my rerouting tool and I start pushing strands of new hair through the holes in her head. And it was actually the last doll rerouted with my wooden tool because it got broken. And in my Queen Elizabeth repaint, you could see me already using a rerouting tool, self-made out of an exacto knife. And the new one worked also just perfectly, so you don't have to buy any special rerouting tools, you can always make it out of an exacto knife. So this is her new hair a couple of hours later, now let's add glue inside of the head to keep it all in place and then we will continue. The next day I've protected her new hair with masking tape and kitchen plastic and now I can take pure acetone and finally remove her original face, her makeup, meanwhile cleaning up all this grease and dust that came from my fingers as well. Then I seal the face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then we can start drawing. I've selected a couple of reference pictures and I'm going to start like always with sketching her eyes and eyebrows. The biggest challenge here are the lips, because the original doll is smiling and I want to make my Aria more serious, she's not really a big smiler, you know? So I have some work here trying to transform her lips, but you know, let us pray, let's hope everything is going to turn out good. Then I take soft pastels and I start working on her skin tone. And you know, I'm totally in love with my new pan pastels, I haven't used anything else since I've bought them. You just need to get used to the way they work, because some colors, like this one for example, and the light pink for example, like light purple, such lavender color, they're made on a white base, and then they look too light on a dull skin. But after I seal it all with Mr. Super Clear, the white base becomes transparent and you get pure color, pure pigment. The sealant transforms pastels pretty dramatically and you really have to know how it works and what to expect. But I really love these pastels because the effect they give, it's really impossible to compare to my previous pastels and they were also kind of, you know, professional artistic quality pastels. So, pan pastels, really thumbs up, amazing. So, then I take my watercolor pencils and I draw her face more detailed. The eyebrows are also very important in Arya's look, I would say not less important than Daenerys eyebrows. So, we absolutely cannot fail them, guys. And then I'm working some more on her lips, you see she's already less smiling, so let's continue working in this direction.
I'm going to draw the lashes today. No false lashes for Arya Stark because I think it would look strange on her. In the end I add reflections to her eyes using white acrylics and now I think her face is quite finished. And the next step is, like always, blushing her body. You see already how it looks next to her face. And first of all I'm going to sand the body with nail buffers to remove the glossy top from its surface. And then I blush it with the same pastels that we've just used on her face. So this is the blushed body next to the face and now I think we can style her hair and it's going to be quite easy today for once I don't have to make curls here for 3 hours. So this is the hairstyle we are going for and my job today is to make her hair straight, smooth and just basically hanging down. And this is where I've ended up, it wasn't difficult at all. So now let's still add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and then we can move on to the outfit. I told you in the beginning of this video that my mom was going to help me with Arya's outfit and now you can see her work in progress video. We've decided to recreate this look from the last season and I'm not sure if I was able to pull it out myself. Thank god I have my mom for it, so as you can see she starts with making a pair of leather pants. Then my mom is making a skirt that will go on top of the leather pants and this skirt it exists out of a couple of petal shaped details. And first of all my mom is attaching a strap of leather around each single detail. You see she has prepared four parts like this and then she will attach them to a belt. After making a skirt my mom starts working on the tops and she will have to make two different top pieces today and first of all she is making one out of grey fabric and this is the same fabric she just used to make the skirt. And then she is making some sort of a leather armor. You can see that she has already prepared all the details and she has also stitched them to create such a textured surface with squares. The same ones like on big Arya's outfit. And now she is showing how she has transformed the pattern to create this detail on Arya's shoulders. I don't know the right name of it, but it's like some extra wings on her shoulders, like an extra protection.
and then my mom is making the final piece of this outfit and it will be a stunning winter coat it will exist out of two pieces out of two layers and the outside my mom is making out of the same gray fabric like the skirt and the shirt and the inside will be soft and fluffy made out of some sort of faux fur So, and here is the finished outfit, you can see that it exists out of many pieces this time and this was by the way the outfit that got lost in transit, so I'm extremely happy I've got it finally after a long long time waiting, it would be so painful if my mom had to recreate this outfit one more time because of some bad post services but here it is it looks amazing and now I still need to make a pair of boots for her and a weapon I think I'm going to start with making a pair of boots and for this I will use like always my favorite warbler thermoplastic I will warm it up with a hair dryer to make it soft and then I can sculpt basically anything out of it Okay, here are the boots and now it's time to make the weapons and we will make of course the legendary needle sword and we will also make the dagger that is also quite a legendary artifact in the story and you know what I thought and what if we use an actual needle to make the needle sword look here I have a thick needle made out of almost valyrian steel so let's try to make a sword out of it, it may be quite a good idea
After making a sword, I'm also making a scabbard and then in the end I will also attach a loop to it that will help me to connect the weapon to the doll's costume. Then we need to make a dagger and it has a very interesting shape and also some decorations, the rhinestones, so let's try to recreate it. Now I want to make a scabbard and I want to protect it with foam paper from the inside because I'm really afraid that it would scratch the painted blade otherwise of our dagger. So, and when the weapons are ready, I can cover them all with acrylics and the dagger I will also decorate with rhinestones.
And here are the finished weapons. They look pretty cool to me. So now let's attach them to the belt of her costume. And then I think we're almost done for today. Have I forgotten something? I don't know. <laughs> no, that's it probably. So now let's put everything together and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is my Arya Stark and I'm truly proud of this doll right now. Especially her outfit, I don't know, I think my mom has outdone herself this time. The Daenerys doll was really cool. Then my mom has also made an amazing winter coat with chains, with some dragon hats for her. But this doll today is not less in my eyes than the Danny doll. I'm also happy about the way her face turned out, because I had some struggle trying to make her less smiling, and it looks quite good after all. So I feel like I should make some more Game of Thrones characters. I don't know, I'm thinking about making Sansa, how does it sound to you, or maybe you would prefer to see other characters, I don't know, please let me know in the comments under this video. And of course I would also love to hear what you think about this doll makeover you know guys I always feel super anxious the first minutes after my videos go live I always feel like oh my god maybe they're gonna hate it this time and my anxiety goes away just after I see the first comments from people who love the end result then I think oh no everything is okay they also like it I'm not alone here that's why it's always very important for me to know what you think about the project so, I would also love to know what Maisie Williams thinks about this doll. This is an actress who played Arya. I follow her on Instagram, so let's hope she would see my work in some way. And you can always help me and send this video to her or tag her in it. Well, and if you want to adopt this mini Arya girl, you can find her on eBay now for three days. And the link you can find, like always, in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you ready very soon in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye.